Welcome to our channel where you will learn how to save hours of your time every single week. Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to set up your CRM so that on a click of a button it adds a new project record and sets up your default project notes in Notion by connecting to Notion's API from the Airtable scripting extension. Almost everything is already done for you. If you are someone who doesn't have the scripting knowledge, then you will still be able to find this video useful. If you do have scripting knowledge, then you can use this as a template and build on it from here. So let's get started. So there is a link in the description below that will be called Airtable Base Template. So if you click that, it will open up to this page here. And from here, you can click this copy base icon or button. And you can select the workspace that you want to add the base to. Go ahead and click add base. So open up the scripting extension and then go down to the link below in the description. And there will be a notion link that will direct you to this page called public templates. The first thing you need to select is the second row here. It's called the Airtable script for ongoing projects template. Select that. Click the copy icon in the top right corner here. You can go back to your base, select everything and paste it in. And this is everything that you will need for your button to function properly in the Airtable base. There is a couple things you need to change in here, but they're pretty straightforward. I will get to those shortly. So what this base is, is a CRM. So it has company information. It has contact information and it has the projects. So these projects will be set up based off of this button click. So you can delete these in your own base if you want to and add in pertinent information to your project or to your company. So from here, we will need to go over to the Airtable or sorry, the Notion uh, public templates page again, and you'll click ongoing projects template. And up here, you'll click duplicate and add that to your own Notion uh, profile. So from here, I already have it set up. So right here, I have mine set up. And what you will need to do is uh, then create an integration within Notion and connect it to this page. So from this page here, I have mine saved at the top level. You can go into the three dots here, click or hover over add connections, manage connections, and select the, where is it? Develop or manage integrations button here. And assuming you're already logged into Notion, uh, this page will open up within your account. You can click create new integration, name it whatever you want. And go down and click submit. And from here, you can click show and copy. You'll, so you'll want to copy this entire um, integration key. And from there, you can go back into your Airtable base. Click extensions, edit code, and you will scroll down about a third of the way to the API key. So this is where you will want to leave the bearer portion there and then copy the secret underscore X's and paste in your secret key. So this will allow you to connect to your Notion base, or sorry, Notion page that is shared with that uh, integration key. So if you go back to your ongoing projects that you just duplicated, and you can rename it to whatever you want, and go back up to the three icons here, hover add connection, and you may have to, you may have to refresh this page So yes, that's what you'll have to do is refresh the page, hover add connections, and then select your, in this case, Airtable project. So that is the integration that you just created. 
So confirm that. And now that integration has access to this page. The next step here is you want to go up and uh, copy the page ID. So the page ID is this um, alphanumeric code here that's just after uh, your Notion name. So you'll want to copy that or select that up to the question mark. And you can copy, go back to your Airtable script. And the next spot here under the payload type database ID uh, right here. So where the X's are, you'll paste that in. And there is a special format for that. So you'll want to go over eight characters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enter a dash and then one, two, three, four. Enter a dash, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So the format is eight. 4, 4, 4, and 12. And after that, you can close this and close that. So here I have now created my integration. I've copied the secret key, added it to the script right here. copied the page ID and formatted it and entered it just a few lines below here. And from there, we should be able to test this and get it running in your company page. As long as you have this set up, let's say we are starting a new project for this ABC co. So if we go across create project button, It'll open up the scripting block. We can call this roadwork. Select the contact that this project belongs to. And you can see here it was a success. You created a new project, it gives the project name and ID, and then it gives us a link here. We can view the project notes there. Or if we go over to projects table, we can see it added everything here accordingly. And there will be a button here that we can open up the notes from. So if we select that, it will open up the page within our Notion base that it uh, correlates to. And I just have a few example um, to do list uh, checklists here. So send contract, acquire permits, and assign crew and project notes. And we can enter in any notes that are relevant here. And so this can be set up any way you want um, within the scripting block or scripting extension, I guess it's called now. And that's down in the script to post to Notion. So it's below this line. This is the payload. So within the children section here, that's where you can add all the um, inner page information that is relevant to your specific projects. So that's basically it. It is pretty simple to set up based off of these templates that I've set up for you. Uh, it will get a little more complicated if you want to customize it to fit your needs, but this will get you started and at least have a good structure for you uh, to see how things connect through the API using the Airtable scripting extension and using the Notions API as well. All of these templates will be posted in the description below. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. Stay tuned for future videos.